Oh, fuck, that's hot. Fuck, that's hot. I missed my print screen. Someone tell me my stats. I saw 61 special attacks. I'll keep playing for now. 44 death, 52 attack. Thank you. This could be good. This could be really good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This might actually be a good quill. Nobody likes this strat. Darn it. I crit myself, dude. That's why you don't do the strat, guys. God damn it. God, this run is such a meme. Please target Typhlosion. I literally don't know who's targeted here. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just resetting, guys. I'm, so, I'm just gonna reset. This, it this run's just something else. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What was that run? That's uh, just worth a start over. I thought it was 29. It was 27. Uh. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I don't know what numbers look like, guys. Oh, God. Guys, there's a number. Okay. It... How to explain this, dude? It's... Okay, hold on. So here's what happened. So... The number looked... It looked like this, right? And I just, I, oh, I fucked up, dude. That's seven, right? I think nine looks like this. But this is seven, right? Yeah, okay, we missed it then. Oh, dude, I'm just a fucking brainlet sometimes, I swear to God. I think my brain's just jelly after that first run I did. Because I, just so much went wrong that run. I don't get that many runnable quills. Well, I've only had one runnable today. The other one was not runnable. Oh, oh! What was the attack? I didn't see. Uh, kind of scuffed. It's either timid, bashful, or docile. Oh god, it has to be the docile for it to be runnable. Fuck. I'm gonna have to figure it out. Okay, we're 33% to be able to continue this run. And even then, the run's probably going to die because docile is a YOLO nature. Like, so stupid. I'm losing a lot of time to this, but. It's <laughs> the smartest thing I've ever done. <laughs> That's faster than calling. Dude, what a play. <laughs> this fight's so fucking stupid. Oh, fuck that paralysis, dude. That lost me so much time. If I didn't get paralyzed, that would have been such a good play, but. Oh, that sucked. All right, we have to survive this fight. It's not likely. We're probably dying here. All right, I've already missed this range once today. Can we not miss it twice? Just don't miss it twice in one day. I literally lose the run if it lives. Thank you. I'm fine with that. Good. No quick attack. Excellent. Okay, other than that last fight, this segment's gone okay. I've just almost died, like, every single part of this area. All right, we're set up now. We're in Blaze. That's what we needed. And now, starting now, this Kulava is good. The time loss is over. Like, now this is a good Kulava. It just took a while before it became good. This is a very runnable Kulava now. Goodbye, Scizor. That was a quick Evice. My god. EQ plus HP should kill. I think. That's fine. That's actually the best thing he could have done. Because now if I don't kill, I win anyway. This should almost kill. Okay, it kills. 342 on day one, not bad. With timid, a timid quill lava. <laughs> that was not in hyper mode at Mirez. Got a 342. It's not terrible. Definitely rusty, but I I had some good plays in there. There were some like positives. Cause this is kind of an improv heavy run. Sometimes you have to like react to weird stuff. 342, not bad. Actually finished the run. So nine bingo sinks. I feel like it's like making them just really tiny on the stream. Yeah, that's what funny. it is. They won't be able to necessarily see the goals. But... Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done crystal bingo since like, yeah, maybe like <laughs> <Yeah>. 2019. <laughs> it's been minimum a year, probably longer. Oh yeah, no, people are going to find this to be very stupid, but that's that's part of the appeal of the stream, I thought. Yeah, I thought part also, of my appeal was my stupidity. Uh, what was this called? Tic Tac Bingo, you're calling them all? Okay. Yeah. Are they playing bingo on TikTok? What are they talking about here? 
Dude, I'm gonna be uh, real honest. I'm thinking about making the game small and making the bingo board big. I think I'm gonna actually do that. I think this is gonna be really fun though. I, I think it's gonna be like very awkward and very difficult, but I think it'll be very entertaining. I really hope this looks good at the end. It probably won't. So if this goes here, right? Like that's about the size. Shit. All right, is this the worst layout I've ever had? No. Is it close? Yes. This was not phone friendly, I'll say that much. Dude, just finding the goals is gonna be so fucking hard. Like, you're gonna catch a dragon type and it's like, oh, that's uh, column 14, row 12. <laughs> who's X's and who's O's, by the way, for the tic-tac-toe portion? I'm O's. Okay, I will be X. All right, I have a strat going in. I'm not gonna say what my strat is. I have some ideas. It's called get really lucky and just get all the Pokemon that I need. I don't think that can be on there. I don't know if that's on there. <laughs> I have to check the card everywhere. Oh God, I see complete all four runes of Alf puzzles. Yep. Yikes. Kill it, kill it. Give me the experience. Oh, you found the Blissey? No, I cannot kill it because it has a move. I catch it. Oh my god. Oh, double oh my god. That's hilarious. Also, chat, you know what's fun about playing bingo like this? Gen 2 bingo has Calabra that Shan has to mark if you catch one. True. <laughs> Dude, every single thing I'm like catching has spark. I think I've been hit by spark six times. Oh, and explosion. Oh Great. Wow, what a perfect combo. Very funny. I'm getting, I, I've been paralyzed, I think, five times. Like, it's getting really dumb. Is paralyzed 10 times on the card? Like, I don't usually like backseating, but in this case, I don't give a damn. Help me. You do realize what's gonna happen with this, right? One of us is gonna win, but one of us will have won after we check the tapes. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's no way the winner is the actual winner. They're gonna check the tapes yeah. and be like, yeah, Shen, you actually won like 20 minutes ago. Okay, chat, I think what's gonna happen here is Raph is probably going to be smart and he's gonna be playing for the middle one. Like, that's pretty obvious. And tic-tac-toe, you pick the middle. What I'm thinking about doing is getting, like, going for, like, a line and, like, rushing a line. Because if I can do, like, the bottom right and the top right, that's pretty strong. All right, are you guys ready to see the panic in Shen's eyes in a second? You will realize... Okay, this Pokemon has now dodged five Zap Cannons. Oh, you max your phone book? Wait, what was that? Yep. How do you max the phone book that quickly? So well, one card less to check one. on. <laughs> yeah. This is all. Yeah, I'll leave him there. Just I just got a shiny Kadabra. From the egg? From the egg, a shiny Kadabra. Oh. What a fucking oh. meme, dude. That's <laughs> shiny, <laughs> right? Well. It's a fucking shiny Kadabra. You're kidding. That's useful for me, actually. Okay. What an actual meme. Oh. I think shiny was on here, too. Every single one of these can cause flinching. What the fuck? Three of the four TMs can cause flinching. I'm still not sure, like, how this is going to work. If it's going to be, like, defense or offense. You know what I mean? Hey, GG. Oof, that was something. Never ever. Nothing oh yeah, that was, a one, that was one of our good old one-time events, but it was pretty fun. In some of the tasks of these Gen 1 games, things can become so rare that it's faster to do something that's slightly less uh, optimal, just because the RNG is so difficult to find. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Also, this is literally impossible. You cannot have a full health Radita 3 shake break in Gen 1. Uh, <laughs> Old man is clearly cheating or not throwing Pokeballs. Uh, the shakes are based off of the catch rate and Radito would be 33%, so it should shake twice and break. It's so weird that they do two catch tutorials in this game. Yeah, like there's mm -hmm. there's, there's zero or, or or one. Do you have to talk to the old man? In, you don't uh, have to. In red, oh yeah. Yeah, it goes from zero to two in red to yellow. <laughs> They're giving you the extra that you missed in, uh, in red blue, but like here have two, figure it out. So how are the uh, the stats on this Nidoran? I it actually is a little bit different from RTA. We still get mm -hmm. perfect attack 
and near perfect speed and perfect uh, special, but we want really low defense because yep. having lower defense lets us get red bar faster. Makes yeah, sense. I kind of figured that'd be the case. The high HP is actually kind of interesting. You might think you want like lower HP so you get to red bar faster, but red bar is a percentage of your hit point. So having higher hit points gives you a better threshold. You had to go for the Pidgeotto. And this is neat. Yes. This is also manipulated. So we have to run like a path search algorithm to find a Pidgeotto in the forest with the right stats to be able to kill it in the right mm -hmm. amount of time and so that it can uh, kill Pikachu and set up Red Bar on Nidoran. Oh, that's pretty sick. Okay. Uh -oh. We're yeah, not doing Ash Percent? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Crap. We, 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 we could catch the Pidgeotto, but it <laughs> turns out having Nidoran is even better. Yeah, so I'll mention wow. I've not that's amazing, getting straight to one hit point. Wow. Okay, so yeah. we have Red okay, Bar now. I but thought then, you were gonna go uh, uh, with Water Gun critical from the Starmie, but it makes sense to take the Water Gun and the Bubble Beam there. Yeah, there's there's still some uh, like wiggle room with that not being quite precise enough. Oh, interesting. But we do kill it in three turns, and we get some uh, Gen One misses for Water Gun from the Starmie. That's crazy. Water Gun for the one frame faster than yes, Bubble for the one frame faster Dex. <laughs> wow. So <laughs> and this guy. But hey, all this text smashing is perfect. That's true, yeah. This is the fastest I've ever seen someone get the bike voucher. That was impressive. The amount of times I've been like item fool in a randomizer when I talk to him, it's so awful. Oh no, yeah, because you have to go through all the text and figure talk out to him again, yeah. It's weird they like changed a bunch of the buildings to not be dig outable. Because I think they left the gyms. I think Sabrina's gym and Blaine's gym you can still dig out of in yellow. We manipulate the girl to walk down there so she doesn't walk up into our path. Uh, yeah. So we can buffer a pressing to talk to the shady salesman. <laughs> it's pretty nice, honestly. Was that a right left buffer there to get down to the bike? Exactly. So the, yeah. that scroll is way faster than you'd see in RTA because every frame you go down, it also like cancels. There's this like wind up if you just like hold the down button at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And if you do the left right buffering, you don't get that wind up. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, if anyone here is a classic Tetris fan. It's like a DAS player versus a hyper tapper. With DAS, you have to like hold down. It like takes a second before it goes up to full speed. But if you like mash down or in this case, you hold down and mash left to right. Uh, based off how fast you hit left and right, it'll just scroll that fast. So you can scroll way faster by mashing quickly. There's a couple of uh, RTA runners that do that too, which is cool to see. And rival time. I'm going to assume we are going to see some cheese on this fight. And by cheese, I mean hitting horn drills without X accuracy. Uh, oh, you, you might see that, but you might see more cheese. Oh. Ooh. This is a discovery just for this specific task. So this okay. one here is the third time I did a task, and we saved 420 frames on this rewrite. <laughs> oh, you thrash here. Wow. Yes. We, we saved nine frames over Horn Drill uh, forced hits by thrashing oh, the turn. That's interesting. Is that just due to... Uh, I guess you have to get the it's a one-hit KO attacks every time. Yep, and you have, to, you have to enter the fight menu. Yep. Yeah, four-turn thrash, like... The longer thrash, the faster it gets, like per average per turn or whatever. So yeah, four turn it's thrash only is really good. worth it in, if there's a four poke scenario, or mm -hmm. if there's really? a three poke where like text boxes are involved, because that wind up animation is so slow. Yeah. Huh. Also, I did not see you by any repels, man. I'm pretty lucky here. <laughs> How does he do it? <laughs> How does he do it? <laughs> and to be clear. This is not something that you're doing just because this is in an emulator. This is played back on an official yeah. Game Boy Player hardware. Like, th there's no shenanigans from an emulator. <laughs> 100% <laughs> this is possible on the original game. Yeah, this is all manipulation. So, like, you, like, you literally go through, like, every map and you're just like, Okay, how can we avoid like an encounter on this floor? Okay, we need to do this, this kind of RNG manipulation. We need our RNG value to be like this to get through here. Um, and you're trying to like figure out ways to do that. I assume you're doing a couple A presses here and there, maybe not in Lavender Tower, but in some of the places. So also, we, we're not using cut here. Yeah, another weird difference oh, yeah. between yellow yeah. and red blue that biking around the bushes is faster in yellow, and in red blue, it's faster to use cut on the bushes. That's actually interesting. Does that have to do with like where the Pokemon is in your party, or is it like lag based? It, it's differences in the lag when you use cut. Okay. <laughs> that this was. That was so wrong. He could have avoided all that grass. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like that's some really fun manipulation you can do here because you're intentionally not repelling this grass, right? But if you're yeah. tasked, you can also like 
like swag extra grass for no reason. <laughs> it was like swag grass for no swag. reason. Yeah, really bugged me. <laughs> Look at me not getting counters just to troll you. There's an extra step of gra grass there. Yeah, you're and all of just grass. sure. Why not? Yeah, just take a hike in there. And on to Giovanni. Giovanni's actually like a lot scarier in yellow than red blue because he has a Persian. Ooh. And the Persian has Growl, which is really annoying. But uh, again, in the task, criticals are a nice thing that can happen rarely. But, you know, can't be unfortunate. Just... You have to waste a Blizzard on this Rhyhorn. If Thunderbolt yeah. could hit it, it probably would just outgo it. I'm hoping for some swag boulders because you can use it for RNG manipulation too. Oh yeah. I have a feeling we may see some swag boulders. It makes too much sense. I'm being too logical here. I'm just so hopeful. Also, yellow lag. Enjoy. This is oh uh, my god. Exclusive lag. Yeah, this boulder pushing takes an eon. Hey. There's, a There's one. All right. Let it be known, chat. That was an optimal swag boulder. A dirty bus stop. And a lobster with breast implants. Hmm. One's a crusty bus station, and the other is a busty crustacean. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> I love that one. I wonder how old those are. Like, I think the first one you ever saved and put on YouTube was the first race you won. Yeah. But there's true. there was a history of uh, Chris not winning for a little <laughs> you <know> bit. <laughs> And look how far he's come. I'm 0-1 today. Mm. The amount of talent exuded in the previous race off the charts. Yeah, it's it's weird, like, the stuff that, like, becomes a meme and then stops being a meme and stuff like that. Like, Cadaver's no longer a meme, but people kind of still think it is sometimes. What a fucking meme, dude. What an actual meme. Uh-oh. Bad movement. <laughs> I've probably already lost time. I don't think this is faster, but I got Quagsire in the same row as Swablu. What do you need out of that then? I still need Lotad and Clefairy. I need to catch both though because I don't have time to breed for Lotad. There's no way that was faster. It was way more fun. Come on, let me find one more. He has the egg already. There's no way I'm winning. I need to get like I need to get them back to back. Chris, do you know what the term Chris Luck refers to? <laughs> Heard about it. I've lost these before, Chris, many times. Not with two YOLOs, with one. I've done it a couple You've times. double YOLOed on me before, I think. Chris, the people subscribe to your channel hoping for a devastating Shen loss as Chris RNGs his way into a victory. Can you provide content for the good people? I can, I can get Remorite. I just need to catch a Cacturn, breed it, then trade the Cacnea for the Octillery, and then breed the Octillery, and I have uh, <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm hatching an egg I already have. <laughs> That's so good. Aw, oh, rip the sub-130, dude. It's all over. I gotta go to the zone. How much time do I have? I don't even know when I got the egg. Like, 126? It's been like seven minutes? Okay, I'm going in. I just need back-to-back -back catchers, and I win. It's easy. Yeah, not hard. All right, guys, this egg will hatch at 137, I think. Never mind. Looking counters. Egg is hatching, Chris. Pressure's on. No. Bulbasaur obtained. Oh, baby. I have speed boost on my Bulbasaur. I got speed boost in under nice. underground. This is going to get me level 13, I think. Oh, this actually might be enough XP. Wait a minute. Level 11? It's so over. I gotta find anything. <laughs> level 12? Level 13? Stop. Learning a move? <laughs> Level 16! No! <laughs> GG. That was. That's a very fast time, honestly. 137 seems really quick for this. GG. And time. 137.